Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. In today's episode, we delve into the tumbling odds of Fed rate cuts following a hotter-than-expected CPI and British American Tobacco's dividend increase. We'll discuss NVIDIA riding the AI wave with a 32% price target increase and money manager's bullish stance hitting a two-year high. We'll also cover Dow's worst day in nearly a year, NASDAQ and S&P sliding on hot CPI data, and SSR mining's 45% plunge due to landslide-induced operation suspension. Stay tuned as we explore gold dipping below $2,000 after U.S. inflation exceeds expectations. Vizio's surge on potential Walmart acquisition talks worth over $2 billion causing Roku to slump, and Upstart's Q4 loss being better than feared despite softer Q1 revenue guidance. Don't go away. We'll be back with these stories right after this short ad break. The probability of the Federal Reserve reducing interest rates in March has dropped from 16% to 6% due to inflation data exceeding expectations. The Consumer Price Index increased by 0.3% in January, outpacing the forecasted 0.2%. Market participants are now forecasting an almost 93% likelihood of rate cuts before the end of July, with possible decreases varying between 25 and 100 basis points. British American Tobacco has declared a rise of 6.1% in its quarterly dividend, which now stands at $0.7431 for each share. This will be payable on the 7th of May to shareholders who are on record as of the 22nd of March. The company's strategy to concentrate on smokeless tobacco is yielding positive results, with non-GAAP earnings per share standing at 375.6 pence and revenue hitting £27.28 billion. Mizuho Securities has raised the price target for NVIDIA from $625 to $825. This adjustment is due to NVIDIA's strong position in the artificial intelligence server market. Although analysts' opinions vary, NVIDIA's stock has seen a significant increase of 45% since the start of January. It is anticipated that on February 21st, the company will announce fourth-quarter earnings amounting to $4.56 per share, with a revenue reaching approximately $20.33 billion. Optimism among fund managers has reached its highest level since January 2022, according to the most recent survey from Bank of America. This study involved 249 panelists who manage assets totaling $656 billion and suggests a potential risk for stocks. The majority of managers are forecasting a soft economic landing and are recommending contrarian trades for varying outcomes. Tech giants such as Apple and Amazon continue to be the most crowded trade. The top risks identified include inflation and geopolitical issues. United States stocks suffered a blow on Tuesday due to consumer inflation data surpassing predictions. This has led investors to reconsider the potential for Federal Reserve rate cuts. The Nasdaq, S&P 500, and Dow all experienced a drop of over 1%, with the Dow having its worst day since March of 2023. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, figures were higher than anticipated, which resulted in a decrease in the probability of a Fed rate cut in March, now estimated at approximately 9%. This unforeseen surge in inflation also triggered bond sell-offs and an uptick in U.S. Treasury yields. Operations at the Kopler Gold Mine in Turkey, owned by SSR Mining, have been suspended due to a substantial landslide. Currently, nine miners are unaccounted for and an inquiry is in progress. Despite these circumstances, SSR Mining holding an 80% stake in the mine projects a rise in production from 200,000 to 220,000 ounces in 2024 to 380,000 to 415,000 ounces by 2028. The cost of spot gold has fallen under $2,000 per ounce, a first in the past 60 days. This is due to U.S. inflation data exceeding predictions. Consequently, anticipations for an imminent interest rate reduction from the Federal Reserve have dwindled, propelling the U.S. dollar to its highest point in two months. The decline in gold prices has also affected precious metals miners negatively, resulting in a general decrease in share trading. Shares in Vizio skyrocketed by 25% after news broke of a possible $2 billion acquisition by Walmart. 
This strategic move could significantly increase Walmart's ad revenue, as it would gain access to a television operating system, advertising inventory, and viewership data. In contrast, Roku's shares experienced a 9% drop following the announcement. It should be noted that this deal is still unconfirmed. The stock of Upstart Holdings plummeted by 24% in response to a less-than-stellar revenue forecast for the year 2024. Even though the company reported a lesser loss in Q4 than what was predicted and managed to surpass revenue estimates, it still fell short in its projected Q1 revenue. The anticipated figure was $151.3 million, but they only project $125 million. Furthermore, there has been a decline in the number of loans originated by the company, with a decrease of 19% from Q4 of 2022. That's it for today on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay invested. Until next time, keep reaching for your financial goals. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Good night for now, until we cross paths again tomorrow. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.